Hello Makers! Welcome back to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, and today we're going to talk about 3D prints. Stick around! Welcome back Makers! So a few weeks ago, someone reached out to me online and asked me if I'd be willing to try out some filaments from 3dprints.co.uk. Me having this insatiable appetite of uh, 3D printing filaments, I couldn't possibly say no. That guy turned out to be one of the co-owners of 3D Prints themselves. Now, for those of you who are wondering, 3D Prints is a very new company. They started producing filaments only six months ago. It was started by three individuals who have a huge passion for 3D printing, and their aim is to provide cheap, reliable, good filament and I honestly think they have achieved that goal. So once I accepted the uh, proposal of Tom, I uh, was later, I think about two, two or three days, I was sent two spools. One of them is the purple and the other one is the black. Now I've already spoken to Tom and I asked him if he could change the name to pink, but <laughs> I think that's, that's that requires a bit more discussion. It, now that I see it in this kind of light, yeah, I can see why it's called purple. So, first things first, I decided through, uh, to throw some filament in the Enervision EV60 and we, I, well, well, I wanted to see how a Benchy would look like in this color. And this was it. This was printed at 100 microns. It was printed at 195 degrees at a speed of 40 millimeters a second. And I have to say it turned out really good actually. I, uh, I think I got the temperature quite spot on to be completely honest. Um, the uh, filament ranges between 190 to 220 so it could possibly go more on some printers. However, on the Envision, 195 degrees was absolutely spot on. While that was cooking, I decided to also try it on the Trinus. But for the Trinus, I had a bit of a different test. I wanted to print something with a 50 micron layer. And this little guy came out. Now, unfortunately, I still have issues trying to learn how to produce the best possible supports for prints, which is why it is not flawless. However, the quality of the print is absolutely amazing. The, uh, the layers come out quite smooth and granted, I possibly oversped the printer for 50 microns. I was printing at about 40, 40 millimeters a second. I probably should have dialed it down to about 30 at that height because it is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle but I still kept the temperature at 195 degrees and I still think it turned out absolutely great absolutely as always once the benchy was done I wanted to throw something else on the inner vision and I did this really awesome gear heart or heart geared or geared heart <laughs> This comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces. <laughs> Sorry, nine pieces because there is the center part and some cogs to stick into each other. And the awesome thing about this print is you twist it and turn it until it goes back into a heart shape. This was printed at um, 200 micron layers, once again at 195 degrees but it was printed at 55 millimeters a second. And I was actually quite happy with this. Following that, I decided to also print this shard from uh, London. This, you might have seen this on the Emotion Tech uh, Micro Delta Rework review. This is the exact same one. This was also printed a 100 micron layer. The only problem with this print is that I forgot to switch retractions off, but I let it go and I'm still using it till this day. It turned out that the 100 micron layers on the Emotion Tech is absolutely gorgeous. And this filament is quite compliant for, uh, for a 100 micron layer height. Once that was done, I went back to the Enervision 
because I felt that the quality it was producing was quite amazing. And I printed this. This was printed in 100 microns and it was printed at 45 millimeters a second. I dare say it came out almost flawless. This was printed without any support whatsoever. The uh, only issue I had with the printer was the beginning of the lantern at the bottom because once again, I didn't do any supports, but I think it fared very well. The detail is gorgeous on this print and once again at 195 degrees. So I felt like it was going spot on. Then I wanted to try something in black. So I printed this, uh, this little chest. Now, the reason why I printed this chest is because I got the idea from Jeffrey at 3D uh, Print Channel. Go check him out. And uh, I thought something in dual color would be nice, something where I can mix the two colors together because there is a very nice contrast between these two colors. This was printed on the Wanhao Duplicator i3 Plus it was printed at 195 degrees. This prints in two parts. The tolerances are fairly minuscule on this, which is why it made such a noise. However, on the one how I felt like I probably could have bumped the temperature up another five degrees because I could see on the side there is a bit of layer adhesion issue. So on in that case, the um, the one how just needed just a bit more uh, up in the uh, in the temperature. However, the quality is actually quite nice, so I was quite happy with that. Then I said to myself, "Okay, I've printed quite a lot with purple. I need something in black, and I wanted something very special." So someone on Twitter suggested that I print Brack the Jointed Dragon, which is this awesome guy right here. This was printed on the Prusa i3 Mark II at 0.2 millimeter layer height at 195 degrees and 50 millimeters per second. It prints in 42 pieces, <laughs> 42. I spent about three and a half days printing parts for this dragon. The amount of supports it requires is insane. I think I've spent the better part of two hours trying to clean support each uh, of each piece that printed. Then I needed to buy some uh, three millimeter elastic rope. I couldn't find, I had to settle for two millimeters and I spent about another hour, hour and a half trying to put it together because it's quite, it's quite complicated to put it together. I will leave a link in the video description on, um, on the instructions on how to put this together. Now, there is a reason why I haven't grabbed this in my hands because this is like getting this dragon to stay in one position, at least this particular dragon, is like asking a six month old baby to stand still. <laughs> it's not gonna happen unless you tape it. <laughs> so what I did was I put blue tack at the bottom of his feet so he doesn't move. However, if I move him, he's just gonna fall into pieces. Now, the print, it's not perfect, but it's not not perfect <laughs> because of the printer itself. It's just a really complicated print. And this kind of print would be great with PVA support and a dual extruder because there's so many overhangs, there's so much detail. It's, it's such a complicated design and it's absolutely amazing how it turned out in terms of a, of a print as a whole. The design is incredibly gorgeous and I truly suggest that you try it out. Now this is an articulated dragon. It has, as I said, the elastic going through it. Everywhere it's connected to everything. So if you pull it, it stays there, but you can give you an idea, move it around and you have the wings. I'm not gonna touch it just yet, but then I'll give you an idea. However, it, it came out quite great. I had no issues whatsoever 
with uh, with the print itself in terms of filament it printed out really nice layer adhesion once again at 195 degrees was really good I had some issues with the torso but not with the filament or the printer I had those issues with slicer on the Prusa for some reason slicer kept showing me as soon as you slice it it keeps deducting pieces of the model I tried to fix it in mesh mixer that didn't help so I ended up using simplify 3d to print the torso I am very happy with this and I'm gonna to try to get it off the bed and it's just gonna curl up into a ball oh, almost so there two three so as you can see there you go you have the wings which are in three pieces you have the head which kind of twists and turns and you have the tail and the legs everything is articulated the only problem is it kind of takes a mind of its own once you put, there you go it just wants to look like it, it wants to look at 3d prints and leaving it in one place is just well yeah sleep yeah let's keep it there so that is it for me guys i want to thank 3d prints and tom for giving me this opportunity to try out these filaments I want to point out that I was not paid to do this review. I was very happy to do it on my own free will. Not only am I not getting paid for this review, but the, uh, the company was generous enough to offer me a coupon code, which I would like to forward to you guys. Now, the filaments range between $25 and $27 for a kilo. That's $19.95 and $21.95 sterling. And that's really cheap because I have yet to find very good filament at that price. So I will leave the code in the video description below. No, I do not make any money off those codes. That's purely for you guys to use. So I urge you to use it. For those in the UK, any orders over 50 pounds have free delivery. So yay. Thank you very much for watching guys once again uh comment like share subscribe tell me what you think and in the meantime happy making guys